With the Indian skipper back in the pavilion, the Aussies closed in for the kill, but the plucky Indians weren't going down without a fight. Oh, that's certainly not going to be the 50th wicket. Very well placed by Chauhan. First runs off Walters, the ball rolling away towards the boundary and just making it. Hogg did his best to catch it, but four runs. Oh, that's in the air and just past Hughes' left hand. He dived and the ball beat his hand and went out to the boundary for four. So, Chet and Chauhan living dangerously. That's the end of Dougie Walters over. One for 52. That's a good shot. Played away on the offside. Square of the wicket by Vin Sarker. Jim Higgs after it and they'll get three. Not all that uh, far away from Rodney Marsh. Uh, still four more to go into the total. And he's got his first wicket, Danny Pasco. And uh, that's a shot Chauhan will regret for a long time, or almost a non-shot. Unable to make up his mind whether to duck or play a defensive stroke. Trying to keep it away from that man at short leg. Very fast delivery from when Pasco digs it in short and Chauhan no idea whatsoever how to play it. And Dougie Walters just easing back from first slip, keeping the eyes right on the ball and taking it at a perfect height underneath the chin. And a very good wicket for Len Pasco. He's worked hard and unfortunately for India, a disappointing end to Chauhan's innings. Lovely stroke from Vishwanath. That's just about his favourite stroke. Very strong on the cut. And never any chance of uh, pulling up that ball. And that is gone. Vensaka playing the stroke that brought him runs in the last over, aiming away square of the wicket on the offside. And Len Pasco has struck again. And Pasco's second wicket. A rather undisciplined shot from Vensaka. Going for the big cut shot, going back and in a shade close to him and another nice catch for Rodney Marsh. He's seventh so far in this test match.